Hi boys and girls, it's time for Chris and Kai's Math Minute. I'm Chris. And I'm Kai. So today, boys and girls, we are going to be going over some of the plain shapes that we've learned before. All right, so I'm going to hold up a shape and Kai, he is going to shout out that shape and you at home can shout it with him. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here's the first one. Okay, uh, th that's a circle. You got it. Did you guys say circle too? Awesome, high five, air high five. Then. Okay, next one. That is a, a rectangle. Rectangle. So rectangle has four sides and four corners. And a fancy word that we use for corners in math is called vertices. Okay. Say, can you say that one more time? Vertices. Vertices. Vert Vert vertices. Vertices. Vert vertices. Vertices. You got it. Vertices are the corners of the shape. So oh, how many okay. vertices does this shape have? I see. One, two, three. Three. Three vertices. And what shape is this? That is a triangle. Triangle. Perfect. And our last shape is this. Okay. Kai, let's give them what? a minute. Okay. At home, can you shout out the answer? What do you think they said? I think they said square. Yeah. Did I think they said square. Awesome. All right. So. Those are our plain shapes. That was a review of that. Now we're going to move on to our solid shapes, okay? Solid shapes are 3D shapes. They're not flat because these shapes, they're called plain shapes because they are flat, like a painting. Okay, right okay. now. Okay. But our solid shapes are made up of some of our plain shapes, okay? Okay. So do you know what, do you know what shape this is, Kai? That is a box. box. In math, we call it a cube. Can you say cube? A cube. A cube. You what got it. plain shape do you see on a cube? Are you, are you asking me or are you asking them? I'm asking you. Oh, uh, I see a square. <gasps> there. Yes. So cubes are made up of square faces. Square fa mm -hmm. faces? Yeah. These are called faces. They're flat. The flat like part of the face. shape. Like <laughs> My face isn't flat. <laughs> I, so the shapes have faces too? Yeah, these are called faces. The flat I have surfaces. A face. <laughs> you do have a face. But in our shapes, these flat surfaces are called faces when they're flat. My face isn't very flat. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. So we It's actually kind of round. Let's see how many let's see how many square faces we see on the cube. Okay, let's count. That's one, one two, two, three, four, five. Six. There are six faces on a cube. Six faces on a cube. And so this is called a side, or we can call it an edge. Oh. Mm hmm What shape do you think this is, Kai? That is a cube. Oh, it looks very close to a cube, but it's oh. not a cube. Oh, it's not a cube. What shape do you see right here? Oh, I see a rectangle. A rectangle. So guess what this is called? A uh, rectangle. Rectangular. <laughs> rectangular. Rectangular. Um, not quite. Friends at home, can do you know what kind of shape this is called? Okay, it is called a rectangular prism. Okay, this is called a rectangular prism, and a rectangular prism has rectangle faces on them. Okay, so we can see rectangle faces. There's one right here. One. There's here two, three, and four. And then the other plain shape we see is a a square. A square. So rectangular prisms are made of rectangle faces and square faces. Okay. Um, do you know of any other things that you would see at home or around the classroom that would be like a rectangular shape? Um, let me see. A, a shoebox. Like a shoebox, yes, or a tissue box. Or yeah. Yeah. All right. Our next shape is this is called a cylinder, and a cylinder has circle faces on them. So a cylinder has two circle faces. How many do we have here, Kai? Uh, one and two. Two. And it has a curved surface around it so that it can roll. Okay. Oh. Our next one, this is called a... Whoa, that looks like a pyramid. You got it. Yeah, they have... I was right? Mm-hmm. You're oh, totally cool. right. High five. All right. So a pyramid, friends, has one square face and it has four triangle faces around it and it has let's see how many vertices one, one two, two three, three 
four, five. Have you seen um, any other things around school, again, around you that are shaped like this? That, that are shaped that, like pyramids? Yeah. Hmm. Have you seen any? Maybe at the jungle gym. Oh, well, maybe, yeah, there might be yeah. some pyramids there. Oh. Possibly. Maybe even if you go camping, maybe a tent. Oh, yeah, a tent. Yeah, sometimes like that could look like one. And this last shape, what is this called, Kai? That's a ball. A ball, yes, we can play with a ball. Yeah. But the fancy word for a ball as a solid figure is called a sphere. Can you say sphere? A, 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 a sphere. Sphere. Mm -hmm. sphere. Yeah, you got it. All right. Can you guys say that? Sphere. sphere. One more time? S Sphere. S sphere. 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 <laughs> yeah. So it's called a sphere and um, it has no vertices, no edges. No vertices. Because mm -mm. it's better at saying that word. Yeah, good job. And it can roll. All right, so it has a curved surface. And a cone chi has one vertex, a circle face, and a curved surface, so it can roll too. So Kai, I yeah. have a game for our friends Ooh. at home. Okay. And us. All right. And us. So we are going to play first, and then okay. you at home will play after. So the game is called Solid Shape Hunt. Solid Shape Hunt. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look around the classroom, and we're going to look for some solid figures. All right. Some solid shapes. I see a lot so, of shapes in this classroom. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Go. Found a rectangular prism. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. I, I couldn't find that. It was, was kind of hard. I found the tissue box. Oh, the tissue box. Yeah. Rectangular prism, bud. Even the erasers that um, that your teacher uses. Oh, for, your... for the for the for the chalkboard. Yeah. Kai, did you find a cylinder? I did. Yeah, I I, I found the glue stick. The glue stick. Yeah. Yep. Has two circle faces. And, and circle faces. And it has a curved surface. And a curved surface. And a curved surface. You got it. All right. The next thing I found was a sphere. Yeah, well, I, it was kind of hard because there's not a lot of balls in here. No, we, we have our recess equipment outside. Oh, yeah. So. Look. Whoa. 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 You found a globe. A globe is shaped like a sphere. Awesome. It has a curved surface, no vertices, no edges. Happen to find a cone. I know probably not an ice cream cone. No, no, there's no ice cream around here. No. Just kind of did find a pencil. The pencil. Yeah. So the top of the pencil is shaped like a cone. It yeah. has like a circle, um, circle shape on the bottom, and then it has the point on top. The I found the die that's shaped like a cube. So we had a very difficult time finding a pyramid in the classroom, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of pyramids around here. Here. Okay, Chris, I think we should give them an assignment to do. <gasps> okay, that sounds like yeah. that sounds like a great yeah, idea. Maybe maybe they should play the game at home. That sounds awesome. Okay, so at home you are going to play a solid shape hunt in your house. So yeah. you have to look for a a cone. A pyramid. A sphere. And a cylinder. Oh, oh and, and, a, and a cube. Rectangular prism. All right, so look for those shapes at home and then write them down. All right, have fun. Bye. Bye.